and head coach Dave Waggy now joining us here in the postgame. Uh, coach, uh, fourth year that they've done this, uh, the gray out night. Uh, what does this mean for you to see your girls put uh, so much time and effort into kind of trying to help out? It means everything. I've been to lots of places where I have pink out nights, gray out nights, black out nights, all kinds of nights, but when they have table after table of uh, raffle stuff and food and and it's kind of like a festive atmosphere. Um, you got people you know, uh, laughing off stuff and people coming with you for free and free admission. It's kind of like a good fun old time. Is, is it surprising to you to see how much it grows and, and how much the, the girls do differently each year? Uh, every year it's, it's got some things that are similar and then they have kind of their own twist on things and, and change things up a little bit and call some different ideas. Uh, this is like a six foot poster of me. <laughs> <laughs> Bizarre, but. What did you think tonight? They said you took a picture of you and you you, you kind of took the, you know, you went over and you stood there for them, but, you know, you didn't really tell them exactly. They didn't tell you what it was for. Were you surprised when you walk in inside? Uh, I knew something was up. Earlier, they, they, they took my picture earlier in there, holding Mountain Dew, of course, and, and said, uh, don't worry about it. So that's what I came up with. <laughs> Coach, uh, talk about this senior class a little bit. You have one more match. We're not going to be here for that South Central Calhoun match, but talk about this senior class and what this group has meant for you. It's been a great group. I mean, I've, I've been coaching them for a long time, and they've got uh, eight gals. It's not very often that eight of them stick it out. Because when you can only start six at a time, and then you're talking bench time for a lot of them. Um, and then they, they stick it out, they work hard, and they, they push each other in practice. And some of our best competition all year has been our scout squad match here, our, our second, secondary varsity. Uh, they kind of sold you tonight. Coach, uh, easy win tonight. Uh, probably with all of the commotion and, and everything going on and all the emotion wrapped up in tonight, probably not a bad thing uh, to, to have one of these matches where the girls could come out and just kind of get up early and take care of business. Yeah, good night to have that. Um, uh, uh, South is kind of struggling. They got a good spot. They're struggling a little bit. And uh, we're kind of up on our game tonight and did pretty well and had a lot of fans. And, Coach, uh, South Central Calhoun, the next one, and that's here back here again. Uh, that one's for all the marbles. Uh, yep. What do you got to do in that one? Play a lot tougher. Okay? Play a lot tougher than we do come on. We have to be on our game, bring our A game. I know you've seen them. You guys played them over at the uh, tournament over in Rockwell City here a few weeks ago. Yep, we played them and barely, barely took them. And, what, um, did you, what did you learn in that matchup uh, that you can take into the one coming up? We learned that I've played very well. If we have a club right well, thank you for coming to Well, Dave, I appreciate you joining us here tonight. Congratulations on another win, another fantastic season, and we look forward to seeing you in the playoffs. Thank you. Head coach Dave Wangie again with the e